Hi everyone and welcome to this walkthrough. I am David Forner and today I'm very proud to present this project to you. The main goal to achieve with this library has been, of course, to have a great legato, expressive and playable, both fast and slow, but also having the possibility to repeat the same note in almost any long articulation in an expressive and convincing way. So let's start with a quick example of how the rebowing system works. It's quite simple, you just have to quickly repeat a note, no more is needed. In order to make the note repetitions as realistic as possible, they all have a certain amount of delay. If you think it's too much, you can adjust it to your liking with the offset knob. Now that you know a little more about one of the main features of this library, I would like to show you all the articulations starting with the legato. The library has three legato articulations, each covering a different dynamic level and featuring two different types of transitions. The different legato performances have a single dynamic layer in order to avoid the possibility of hearing two cellos at the same time due to the crossfit system used to move between dynamic layers. In soloist instruments and like sections it's quite noticeable, especially in legato interpretations. Although I think this is the best system for getting the cleanest results, if you like to have the three legatos in one articulation and move through them using the mod wheel, you can do this by pressing Ctrl and clicking on any of the three legato articulations. As you can hear, the legato can be agile and expressive. This is thanks to a script that adapts to your playing speed and that switches between fast and slow transitions. Ok, let's continue with the with vibrato and without vibrato sustains. But first, I want to mention that all the long articulations, except the overpressure sulpon sustains, have rebowings. Also, if you play with a velocity greater than 80, you will have an accentuated attack. Otherwise, it will be soft.
for the flautando, the musician was asked to be quite exaggerated in order to achieve that sound that really resembles a flute. With the rebowings, he was instructed to make a small accent and immediately return to the flautando, which has created a patch full of personality. Continuing with the soul test on the harmonics, I would like to comment a few things. In the harmonics, as you can see, more keys than usual are available for this type of articulation. That is because the performer was asked to fake the harmonics using other articulations for the low register, resulting in a quite unique sound in the lower notes since it resembles a harmonic but it's not. Regarding the sul tasto, it's an articulation that was not originally intended to be recorded and that has been extracted from the recordings of other articulations. Seeing the result, I think it was a good idea to include it as an extra. In the next articulation, the musician was instructed to apply a lot of pressure on the strings at the beginning of the note and then transition to sul ponticello. This is the only long articulation that does not have the rebowing feature giving the difficulty of repeating that type of attack with so much pressure on the strings while playing. There are two types of tremolo in the library, the traditional tremolo and an articulation that consists of a sul tasto that transforms into a sul ponticello tremolo. In addition, depending on how hard or soft you play, you will start with the sul tasto or with the tremolo.
The short marcato has eight wrong robins, four of them coming from phrases to get a better connection between notes. These are activated based on how fast you repeat the notes. The long marcato is a mix of the sustains, the spiccato and short marcato, and together with the sul tasto it's an articulation that I wanted to add as an extra since it's very useful when you need a long note with a more aggressive attack. The library has three types of swells, and like all the long articulations in this library, they have releases so you can stop the note at any moment of the swell. In the long swells there are two different types of rebowings depending on the velocity you play, a softer one indicated for when you are at the beginning of the swell, and a stronger one for when you are in the middle. Regarding the short swells, there are two different types, one with a more direct attack and another with a more crescendo attack. Continuing with the shorter articulations in the library, it's worth mentioning that they all have been extracted from phrases, which gives them a better connection and more natural results. I especially want to highlight the result obtained with the spiccato, which has 12 room robins and 5 dynamic layers, which makes it perfect for phrases with very fast repetitions and big dynamic changes. <laughs>
Finally, I want to show you a couple of examples applying effects to the cello, so you can see that the library is also very versatile when it comes to inserting different effects. Now I would like to quickly explain the functions that the interface has. If you press shift and any other articulation, you can divide the keyboard in two parts, placing one articulation in the upper part and another in the lower part. The register of each articulation can be changed with the split knob. If any articulation is selected with alt pressed, it is possible to make a crossfade between the selected articulations. This will work for all articulations except legato. It is also possible to artificially increase the register of the cello using these knobs. In the configuration section, you can modify the response of the keyboard towards this instrument and also change the different CCs that control the library, being possible to control separately the dynamics of the two articulations selected in a split mode. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this library as much as I do and see you in the next video.